This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Uh, it's interesting that we've talked a, a little bit about um, uh, seeking God and finding God. Because something happens in our, in our study uh, today. It's just uh, uh, two verses that set off something that, that Jesus teaches. And it, it's only a few verses long. But Philip asks a question. And Jesus responds. And uh, the thing that Philip, and we'll look at it in just a moment, but it really kind of comes down to uh, where do you find God? How do you find God? When do you find God? Where is God? Now, Hebrews 11.6 says that without faith it is impossible to please God, but those that come to him must believe that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And then back in Jeremiah, back in Jeremiah 29 says that you will find me, God says you will find me when you seek for me with all your heart. Now, what is it that a, somebody who's seeking a treasure, say you're digging for gold, what's your treasure? What, what, what's your reward? I know this is a trick, you think it's a trick question, it's not. If you're a gold, if you're digging for gold, I wanted to say gold digger, and that's a whole different story. <laughs> if you're digging for gold, and what, and, and what is your reward? Thank you. If you're mining for diamonds, what is your reward? If you're seeking God, your reward is not what God does for you, but it's God. You see? And so a lot of times we really need to be honest. When we are looking for God, what are we really looking for? Are we looking for God to do something or are we actually looking for God? Are we looking for the hand of God or are we looking for the face of God? On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.